don't know, man. Sometimes you just gotta just like do some just out of the ordinary thought shit. <laughs> just, I knew it was coming. I knew you was gonna go there first. We not gonna do that. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do some more. Oh shit, we rolling. Live. <laughs> we rolling live. Oh man. What's up, baby? Those was not my words. I was repeating what Kyle said, but y'all didn't hear him say it because the camera won't roll in. Yeah. So I was just repeating this. Yeah, nigga, Ja is a whore. <laughs> whore. Not I. Whore monger. Oh, man. You gonna do a little intro? No <laughs> bad energy, please. No bad energy. No bad energy, please. No bad energy. Being a whore is not a bad thing. Ooh. Nah, but being around Kyle is bad energy. Please, it's bad energy. I'm a good guy, man. Don't let him lie to you. <laughs> we back another week. Another episode of BYOB. I'm your host, regular Ja. And your co-host. Andy Proof, man. What's up? Smokey Robinson, your majesty of marijuana, the prince of pot. We're going to change this shit from BYOB to random garage talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh yeah, so this is his... What is your third house? Your, your third one? We, we in my brother's garage. The, so The blue bar is what we call it, though. It's set up. All I know is I pulled up. It was like like nine crips outside. All of them had... I don't even know what kind of guns them shits was. But they was all legal, though. That's the crazy thing. And my brother's people's. So, it was a hundred crips we outside. All, we all know who, who I am. But that's my brother's people's. <laughs> <laughs> It's all love, though. It's all love, though, all the time. Salute to the homies. For sure. So, yeah, man, we back. Yeah, man. All right, we had a little week, every other week type situation. That's what it's looking like. I keep telling y'all, we got to give y'all a week to process shit and to catch up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like these motherfuckers don't be missing us, so we got to make them miss us and shit. Everybody misses, man. They better. You got to love us. You got to love us. I mean, sometimes I piss this nigga until, like, I get around the nigga, and I'm like, okay, that's, now I see why I have not been around this nigga. Ja's the hardest friend in the world to have, though. <laughs> this, nigga's, <laughs> this nigga's a tough friend to have. No, how? I'm the, that's not even possible. For me to be the toughest friend ever have. This nigga likes to pretend like he's broke, and he's got all the money. Bro. That's number one. Number one, you're lying saying it's your brother's house. That's number one. And Take all, this nigga does mad light skin shit, yo. <laughs> He does mad lights and shit. He don't return phone calls, text messages. He missed the functions with mad excuses. And then he show up on private yachts in the middle of the night in the ocean fishing and shit. Like, we seen the pictures, man. Bro, number one, I was on a pier. I was on a fucking pier in Ocean View, which is the, the nine richest per place in fucking Virginia. Or one of them. I mean, I know you. Got, I hope y'all saw the lookout game because the niggas lying. I know you got real estate and property and shit out there, so I ain't trying to fuck your money up. <laughs> but we back though. Yeah, we got man. a lot of shit happening this week, man. Yeah, where we starting at? Like, no bad energy, please. No bad <coughs> energy. We definitely don't do no bad energy. No bad energy, please. No bad energy. Say positive vibes only. Can we start with music this week? No bad energy, please. No bad energy. <laughs> Where you get that shit from? What? So that lets me know that you have not heard Lost Takes 2 yet. I didn't hear it all. I listened to it. I didn't hear it That's all. That's the first song up there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I heard it. See, that's what happens when you listen to something, but you don't really hear it. You, know you got to listen. <laughs> Nigga, that's the first song on this shit. That's sad, because I'm going to the Nas show tonight. Right? I'm definitely going to catch Nas in the beach tonight. That shit going to be fire. So clearly, I need to listen to the Lost Takes 2 on my way there. So when you see this nigga Nas backstage, I'm going to make sure that I'm, I tweet and look. Because I know you're going to be backstage and shit. Because I know that's just what you do. So, I know you're going to be back there with these niggas. If y'all can give me some press passes for backstage, <laughs> we need those. BYOB at the podcast at gmail.com. For sure. We definitely need that. Um, that just happened. I don't like that. We well, fuck it. We just, you fix that shit. We just we keep rolling. <laughs> This shit. I don't, I don't, I don't like the way uh, the main camera cut off. So I'm gonna keep talking. You might get this bullshit GoPro angle, which consists of everything in the background. Yeah. I'll show y'all my ashtray. I yeah. Got my cup. It's got some yak in it. 
So you uh, keep these keep these good folks entertained. This is what the fuck we do. While I figure out what the fuck is happening. Yeah, definitely going to the Nas show tonight. So Luke the Nas and, and Mary J on that concert tour they on. It's it's for us old heads, man. Thirty and up. Yeah. I, I got to see Mary dancing around the stage in heels, acting <laughs> a fool. Some special Mary boots. She gonna do some kind of motherfucking them crazy ass dances and shit she be doing. That's it. Yeah. I don't know what it's the, the fuck. auntie out there. Niggas dropping <laughs> their phones. That shit sounded bad too. It's a, it's a horrible day to be electronics around the BYOB podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is all different kinds of faded and shit. Fuck it. But nah, while we since we on music, we we started with the Nas shit. Shout to salute the Nas for the lost tapes too. Yeah. I know it's I know it's a dope album. Like I said, I listened, yeah. but I ain't. Really it was fire to me for sure. Yeah. They said he did a mixture of old shit, some lost, some shit that was just in the vault. Like, it's, it's lost. Ta- if you heard the first lost tapes, then you should know what to expect yeah. from lost tapes too, because it's just like, nigga, it's lost tapes is just the lost songs yeah. or unreleased shit that he just. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what motherfuckers was expecting shit to be, but it doesn't matter because I got one of the albums of the summer that I was waiting for. Big Are you Crit- fucking with that Iggy too? <laughs> okay, okay, you fucking with that Iggy? Okay, I know. I've never played Iggy and Zaya anywhere in my anywhere in my vicinity. I won't even go to a club that plays Iggy. Look, those news is fire though. They were. They were definitely fire. <laughs> you did not tell a lie there. She should just rap naked. Oh, on mute. But um, nah, shout out to Crit though. Crit man, Crit sure. gave me one. Crit is here. The album is fire. It's just what I expected from it. Start to finish. This is he's an underrated rapper, man. Y'all gotta stop yeah. giving critics nah. his respect, man. Cause this last three Joneses between Catalactica, Forever is a mighty long time, and this most recent one, critics here. Like yeah. he be doing his thing in the south. Y'all keep playing, he gonna drop another Mount Olympus on these yeah. niggas. Yo. <laughs> that <laughs> nigga was fed the fuck up when he dropped that shit. I fuck with Chris. He gave a lot of niggas don't know it. He did a twelve for twelve one day, so we started at noon. Mm-hmm. And every hour until midnight, he dropped a freestyle. And they made this shit a mixtape. They called it 12 for 12. Shit fire. That nigga did some writing. Creek and rap. <laughs> Creek and rap. So that was my big album of the summer one of the two that I'm waiting for. The other one that I'm waiting for, y'all know. Ross. August 9th. August 9th. Ross is coming. Port of Miami too. Ross is coming. He just dropped a single. It's him and Swiss Beats over a Just Blaze beat. That sounds like Ross. It's fire. That sounds. I ain't hear it yet. I gotta go find that shit. Just please, I gotta fire. go find that shit. That shit sounds like Ross. So speaking of Iggy though, who you who you riding with? You riding with Iggy? You riding with Peppa Pig? Why are we talking about Iggy? Cause she's a, Iggy is hip hop, my nigga. And I'm riding with Peppa Pig. You ride with Peppa Pig, dog. My guys so I love Peppa Pig. Nah, Peppa Pig is a thug on the low. But I'm just saying though, Iggy is hip hop. No. I just see how I'm, this, this is real. This is a serious look you give me? This is real. Yeah, no. Iggy is hip hop, man. Iggy not competing. She's not even running with the rest of these women that's out here. You know why? I don't want to know why. <laughs> I don't give a shit. If, y'all, if you give a shit about Iggy and Zay, this is not the podcast for you. Okay? No, I'm lying. We always the podcast for you. I love you, Iggy. Your news is fire, though. That shit's legit. Just stop rapping and take pictures. Do you eat from the back? Yeah. Possibly. She's, she's got enough money for that to happen. <laughs> money go a long way. Yeah. Like, why did it make you do some things that you typically wouldn't do in life? I'm sure she got a couple other things that go a long way, too. Whew. So... We never gonna get her up here. Never. She's never coming. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably gonna block us in some more shit. I'm blocked by a lot of people. Yeah, me too. I'm blocked by celebrities I tried to help. I ain't gonna say who. <laughs> Angela, you got me blocked, and I don't even know why. I like Angela. Like I fought with the Breakfast Club. She did me dirty, yo. And I know I ain't never said nothing crazy to Angela. I don't well, think. I think I know why she blocked me. I was drunk, watching lip service. And I had some questions. 
I've never watched lip service. Oh man, they nasty. Maybe I should watch lip service. They nasty, nasty. I like that shit. Oh, they nasty. But yeah, um, now who else dropped though? Uh, Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith dropped Jayden some Smith shit. Dropped. Hey, y'all gotta y'all gonna put some respect on Jaden name too. What'd you say? I'm just, he's, he's the icon he's living. The icon living. He told y'all on the first album. <laughs> the way he set up his albums is fire. Like his intros, yeah. the first four tracks, is always is a wave. It's a wave, so definitely check that album out. My nigga Swayze back. I fucks with Swayze. I've heard the name, Swayze. Corona in line. Oh. Yeah, I mean I've I've been at some parties with some people. That, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Please elaborate for us, y'all. Please elaborate for us. Tell me exactly what you mean. I'm just saying, he's, he makes great summer music. Oh. He makes that great feel good summer music. Whore. Y'all's a whore. <laughs> a whore. Nah, it's like church music sometimes. Like, you just Bible study and shit. You got a whole congregation of whores? <laughs> congregation? That's, that's what you call it when you wake the up on Congregation? You call it when you wake up on Sunday morning with a house full of bitches you don't know? Oh, nigga, Sum 41 drop. Nigga, new Sum 41, cuz. Who? Sum 41 kind of rock me. Oh. Don't worry. I got you, my nigga. This Go nigga ahead. All, he <laughs> always <laughs> comes <laughs> with the wildest random ass song or some shit that don't nobody give a fuck <laughs> about but him. Why he is doing that? <laughs> um, shit is fire. I'm just talking about. I'm drawing a horrible mind blank, and I should know his name. The white R and B dude who dropped the album. But my mind's blank. I'm faded. Nigga, they, they, the damn near all of them is white right now. Yeah, but the only one that's tough with the he had the whole he had the shit with Thug on it and. Oh, Ed Sheeran. Ed I told Sheeran. niggas last week. Drawing, yeah. And I Hold gave niggas blank. the wrong information. I said it was out. I said it, I said it was out last week, but it was, I mean, last show. Fuck it, it's out now, motherfucker. Yeah, it's out now. The album, and the this album shit's tough. still fire, bro. The album was tough. The salute to Ed Sheeran. Big salute. I'm gonna fast forward to the good shit. You fast forward to the good shit, you end of the song. This nigga secretly, number one, this nigga. I'm not gonna act, but first of all, there's a lot of rock bands that I fuck with. Some 41 should be one of them. Nah, I'm still an old school rock here, like Nickelback, Red it's Hot Chili old Peppers. School. This is that. This is them. Matter of fact, let's just keep talking. You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you, that shit, alright? We just gonna let this album rock while we finish the podcast. I'm gonna break it home. <laughs> this is gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie, you know, listen to that shit. That shit might have been alright. I know. It might have been alright. I know what this nigga gonna go. On his way um, to the Nas concert and throw this shit on. Random music shit. This is gonna assist me on some bullshit. I forgot the name of the nigga Trizzy track or something. The nigga who dropped the beat on the internet and that shit oh, was viral. Me, yeah, yeah. That was, hey, that 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 was is, some dope shit. That beat is retarded. That was some dope shit. That shit is crazy. Me, I know you about to I know you about to run through that beat like you should, but I need you to wait on a Ross verse from it too. Because Ross gotta run through that beat too. And then we can give it to Cam and Jim Jones. That's their type of shit. Yeah. That just sounds like some dip set. Then we can give it to Kiss and Styles or some random back and forth shit just because. They gonna take it anyway. So I like when they secretly snatch niggas beats and go back. If y'all industry niggas there. don't run through that beat, man, y'all niggas got a problem because that beat is fire. They need to treat that shit like the one blood beat. That's what they need to do. <laughs> everybody in the industry needs to rap on that shit. <laughs> or the Amelie shit like when everybody was just doing it. I'm one of the few niggas who still listen to that whole one blood remake. That shit like 13 minutes. But everybody but gave you me like eight to, cold bars. But you won't listen to Chris Brown album, but you listen to the One Blood remix, which is like three times the length of Chris Brown album. It's not. Chris Brown <laughs> album is like six times the length of the... Bro, that shit, nigga, the One Blood remix is like four days long. <laughs> like, that shit... Nigga, I remember one time I went to work and left this shit on, on my iPod. Shut the fuck up. That's how old this shit is. I went to work, and that shit was only on like the third verse. Shut the hell up. That shit long as a bitch. That shit longer than the Whisper remix. 
That shit was tough. And what's the other shit? Uh, the turn it up. The Busta shit. The Busta Rhyme shit. That shit was long too. She had eight different remixes. Yeah, that shit was long as a bitch too. And the yeah. Millie. I mean, they want remixes, but yeah, yeah. that shit was just everybody just freestyled on that shit. Everybody rapped on the Millie beat. We That's think the hardest hip hop beat on is. The hardest ever. That's not possible. But I would say uh, stick to the scripters top fives. I say the locks of alchemist, the essence. See, that's if you can't rap over the essence, I don't want to hear you rap at all ever. No, nah, you. I mean, you can't really. There's no. There's. There's no one particular beat that's just the hardest beat ever, dog. Yeah, I just want to know your opinion, your favorite. Cause like, nigga, hold you down could be one. Hold you down. Yeah, no. Fire. <laughs> It could not. No, I just wanted to see if you would. I just wanted to make sure you won't know yes man ass nigga. No, it could, it definitely could not. No. I just wanted to make sure you won't know yes man ass nigga. But nah, I think I definitely feel like stick to the script is one. The dynasty intro is one. Yeah. Um. Hey, stop being a yes man. That was random. Yeah. But a good point. Stop being a fucking yes man to your people, yo. Like you got to start telling your people the real shit. Gotta keep it real with your friends, man. If you can't keep it real with your friends, they're not your friends. That's a fact. You can have a difference of opinion and still be cool. Speaking of money, I owe you some bread for the bringing the joints from the store. I cash up to you. From the batteries? Yeah, I got oh, you. Oh, yeah, you up to $3. I'm keeping the total. <laughs> this nigga owes me $3.17. Oh, you can have the batteries back, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the shits after we finish what we do it. But, um, <coughs> oh, what else happened? Garnett. What happened with Garnett? 100000 a month. For what? You know what? You, I don't even know why you asked it for what. Like, you know it involves. Five. Come you know on, Doc. Fuck, one more. more. Oh, fuck, you walk in. You know it involves. Matter of fact, we need. You heard about that Garnett shit, right? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, you can. You can step on the side of the camera. camera. No, <laughs> real quick. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, nigga. <laughs> But no, so this nigga has a hundred thousand dollars a month for child and spousal support. Like, what the fuck could your kid possibly need? A hundred thousand dollars a month? What the fuck could your kid possibly need or want to do that's gonna cost you a hundred grand a month? Not a motherfucking thing. Not a motherfucking thing. What was the the owner of Amazon? What's his name? I forgot that nigga name. What's the, what's the owner of Amazon name? How the fuck don't nobody know the fucking nigga, owner? Shit, white man number five. Nigga, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's uh, I know this shit because I know. No, we I know because we talked about we this talked shit about on one before. of the shows. But um, Jeff Bezos, yeah. So anyway, just like I was telling y'all, when he was split with his wife, and they split like thirty something billion dollars, sixty something yeah. billion dollars they got, for a hundred thousand dollars a month. It's one point two million dollars. That's actually over one point two million dollars a year. Don't judge. Them. No, it's one point two a year. Somewhere the fuck my math off because I'm drunk. So what you saying is? 10k a month. What would that tweet was? Twelve thousand a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A thousand dollars a month is 24k a year. All that shit. Like my math is off, nigga. Fuck it. The point is, for that amount of money, nigga, bitch, you gotta go. Like, I gotta kill you. I really. If I can't get full custody of my kid and raise my kid on my own, I'm not giving you a hundred thousand dollars a month. I'm not. I refuse. I refuse. And it's not that I'm gonna be a bad dad. I'm gonna still take care of my child, but I'm not giving you. I'm just not doing it, bitch. Uh, even if you was with me shooting in the gym, bitch, you wasn't on the game during the fuck. You weren't on the court during the fucking games, bitch. Like you didn't win that ring. I won not, that ring. See what you really gotta do is you don't kill him. This is what you do. You hire somebody. When I say kill him, I mean kill him with kindness. Cause yeah. So what you do is you kill you hire somebody to just make them do drugs on camera, and you show that shit to the judge. You gotta do something. <laughs> I like, give you that amount of money. When you go to the when you go to the motherfucking custody hearing, like, yo, your honor, do you think this is a fit mother right here? And for all that amount of money, fam, I'll take my kid and he come live with me. You gotta make your ex look like DMX. A living nanny gonna cost me sixty grand a year, fam. I'm not giving you a hundred thousand. Nah, not mine. I'm, I'm fucking, not. I'm fucking my nanny. I'll send you to private school. That's another twenty grand. I'm fucking my nanny. So my nanny gonna cost that much. You like you fucking nannies. I, mean, I don't even got. No <laughs> 
I don't even know what that means. You just look like the type of nigga that. So you wouldn't fuck the nanny? Fran Drescher? Yeah, you wouldn't fuck the nanny? Yeah. yeah. See, you see what I'm... Fuck a Fran Drescher. Her voice is... Yeah. Just... Nah, she came up. She got it. Like, that's the one time I wouldn't mind the sex being silent. Fran Drescher, her throat made me believe that she real nasty on the dick, so... I would fuck Fran Drescher. <laughs> it just... It seems right. But yeah, 100000 a month? Oh. Mr. Sheffield. Hey, for I real though, do that shit. But you know what though? She was fresh as a bitch in that show. When you yeah. go back and look at the outfits and shit she had on, yeah. she was fly as a motherfucker in that show. Yeah. So. I'm dumping. <laughs> you dumped it worse. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Number one. He always get me. I gotta get this nigga. Number yeah. one, that's fucked up for you to tell the public that. I mean. <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs> and now everybody knows. Hey, man, at least I ain't grow up being the one nigga that wiped the girl, like, after niggas ran train on her, and he was part of the train of the bitch that he wiped. Oh, wow. You, you've seen some filthy niggas in your lifetime. <laughs> that was mad specific. You had a specific <laughs> nigga in mind uh, when you said that shit. I'm just saying. Just say his name. I'm just saying. <laughs> just say a nigga that. Just say his name. I ain't no snitch. But I'm just saying, yeah. hypothetically... I'm just saying. You know, yeah, the nigga know who he is. You know you are. You did that filthy shit. If, if I'm on world, start running the fade with a nigga. You know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> but nah. So hypothetically, it's some niggas that you know. Oh, you know, you running the joint on the joint. You know, and just one nigga just don't never come back out the room. <laughs> Thank God for niggas. Like it's never seen, I've seen that happen. <laughs> it's like four hours later, I'm and he it. the last nigga. That's that's what makes it worse. So like, anyway, we go. <laughs> Of course we that's bad. That's that's terrible. What the fuck you put in here? A lot. Um <laughs> We always do it. Salute the Hove, man. You gotta salute the Hove. He always doing some shit. Yeah. I need Hove to send me some of that cannabis when he um when that shit drops. Bro, he just they just made him the lead strategist at a cannabis company in California called Caliva. Well, that man got his hand in everything. He got his hand in everything. I'm definitely buying stock in that company because it's Hove. Yeah, that shit about to go up. I'm definitely buying stock in that company. That shit's definitely about to go up. It's fucking Jay Z, man. Like <laughs> that shit is definitely about to go up. Yeah, they do. Nothing he don't do right. Um, shout out! I gotta do hometown shit. Shout out Philly. Meek. Meek just became the co-owner of Liz, the hat company mm. that does hat store that you see in the mall. Just became the co-owner. Nah, of that's, that's big. Shit. I didn't that's see big. that. I didn't see that. I, that's, yep. that's some big shit. Yep, yep, yep. And um, he might be getting off paper soon. He needs to. They might be. They might be letting him off soon. He needs to. If they do that, that's fucking big. My homeboy that walked through put me on. He dropping the um the story on Amazon Prime Video in mm -hmm. August. So yeah. That shit gonna be dope. Oh yeah, the free meat shit, right? Yeah, the the, the meat, documentary, yeah. yeah. That, that shit gonna, gonna be dope. crazy. And salute, um, salute to Philly, man. We coming for another Super Bowl this year. Speaking of my hometown shit, uh, rest in peace to Sweet Pea Whitaker. Um, Definitely. That was one of the greatest. Definitely, definitely. Definitely, to, in my personal opinion, and not just because he passed, but I've been saying this. I think I've even said it on the podcast before when we were brought up Mayweather. Yeah, you um, did, you did. Top five. You did. Now you get back to watch his videos. The boy was nice. Yeah. The boy was nice. So definitely shout out to Top five. Won't no nigga doing that in the 80s? Nah. Defensively? No, sir. He was dancing around people. <laughs> and uh, his... I mean, not to compare them, you know, they funerals and I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But his shit kind of was like, it reminded me of Nipsey. They did it at the school. They definitely did it in school. He scope. brought the fucking stars out. Like, all the boxing stars was here. Tyson, Holyfield, Roy yeah, Jones. Man. Like, that shit was, that shit Legit. was, that shit was real. When you, so. when you real, you you get what you supposed to get. You yeah. I mean, no matter what you go through in life, when you're a real nigga, you get what you supposed to get. Just hold true to yourself and that shit come, man. Yeah, and... No name spoken, but shout out to whoever the fuck niggas is speaking ill on the dead. You know who you are. I mean, we call it like we call it because we don't hold back punches. And we can debate this, Charlemagne, because this would be a good debate for us. He Char wrote the only one, though. That's why I put an oh. S. That's why I put an S. Charlemagne on, was the main on, one. On that niggas. I so, he so what he said was. It was out of context, but it was still. What the nigga was like, he, he could yeah. dodge all them punches, but he couldn't dodge a car. 
Yeah. It's a fucked up statement. It's a fucked yeah. up joke. Well, that wasn't the exact but, words, but it was something to that it, effect. It right? shouldn't have been spoken. Period, though. Yeah. Nah, yeah. I feel like if you say something like that t- could, could be taken out of context, yeah. you should probably. What we say last episode? When you say some shit, stand on it. You got to stand. You on got that to stand shit. on it. So, I wouldn't. Have, and don't get me wrong. Like you know, what I'm saying, I feel like that's what he does. He say wild shit for shock value, and yeah. you know that you got to accept that. Yeah. I will say that I felt like the joke was too soon. I wasn't. I wasn't. A, I wasn't necessarily offended by it, but the joke was way too soon. Like it was the. It was like the day after, after he died. Yeah, yeah, like that's some shit you tell two months down the road or some yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? You wait on that shit. So. Especially when he took the time out to be to like make it a moment. Like yo, yeah. I'm a big boxing enthusiast, yeah. and you know I want to. ESPN had an article up on the website and all that. Yeah. So I felt like the joke was way too soon. I didn't take it to heart like everybody else did. A lot of because yeah. we we in Norfolk, we in the seven five seven in Hampton area, so and all we do is just joke and talk shit yeah. about people. But, but they took that shit to heart. Yeah. They did not like that shit. They was out for his neck. But no, that's just they was like, out for his neck. Yeah. They wanted his job. Which, but you know how us? Let's be as, realistic. As, as black you're not, people, you're not gonna get a job. Okay, I get it. No. Twenty five thousand people, maybe if that are mad. If twenty five thousand, yeah. that's an extended number. Like, yeah, I'm giving not, you a it's, lot. It's, it's, it's probably like. No, I heart, I heart right. Media owns 103 channels. Yeah. So they're not going to shut that shit down. But none of them own the Breakfast Club. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So how it goes is, yeah, Revolt owns them. And Diddy is definitely not going. He don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Yeah. But that's just how we are as black people. That's like, you can say what you want about him. But if I say something about him and he yeah. not around, you're going to be like, yo, yeah. hold on. Man. You don't know what I mean? You don't know him like yeah. that to be motherfucking. And that's exactly what it is. Huh? I don't give a fuck what me and him going through, my nigga. You, you keep your peace to yourself. Yeah. Like. Fact. He ain't here that's to hear fact. this shit, so you wouldn't say it if he was here. That's a fact. So, you know what I'm saying? That's well, I just, definitely understand that. That's, that's how the 757 carries shit. <laughs> but people make, my thing is, people make jokes about dead people all the time. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's a timing issue. You know what I'm saying? Like when Kodak said that shit about Nipsey, it, oh, they more, were, yeah. it, was, it was a timing issue, fam. And like, it was out of context. It was, it was out of context. So. You know what I'm saying? But that's like the um the, the white comedian. They took all her shit down. She said the shit about uh, XXX and Tentacion. Oh yeah, I, I can't. She said that. that um, like his death should have been this shit about to be out of context, like a motherfucker. But it was something like uh, his death should have been like a Venmo commercial, cause he got robbed for the fifty thousand in cash. So she was like, "Yo, that would have been a great Venmo commercial." Like, yeah, that's dumb as like, hell. don't carry the cash. Like, know what I'm saying? That's dumb as hell. Your joke has to be funny. Yeah, I mean, and the, the real, like, real, listen, the people in the audience laugh. Being a nigga, like. <laughs> And y'all gonna hate me for this, but again, I don't give a fuck because I say what I want to say. The same joke Charlamagne said, that shit ran through my head. Before he, before I even knew that he said it, the joke ran through my head. But again, I know it's about timing and I'm not an insensitive yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? I live in Norfolk too. I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> I ain't got time How many relatives? I, yeah, I do know. And that's the problem. I know some of these things. So I would never say no shit like that out of my mouth. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Jokes run through your head. If you've never been to a funeral and had a laugh at the funeral... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The jokes run through your head. Shit happens. So you, it's a way that you try to grieve with shit. But yeah, I mean, it's just fucked up because like you just lost. If you've never been to a funeral and laughed at a funeral, I can't trust you. Oh, nigga, they be on like I don't know. There's, There's always something in the funeral that make you my laugh, family man. funerals like they be on stage joking the person in the cast. It's just something that make you. It may not even. <laughs> you may just be sitting next to somebody in the. You know what I'm saying? In the funeral, yeah. and y'all both see something and just. You know what I'm saying? It's just shit happen. Or you run back in memory, like yeah, like I man, like I have like funerals I've been to with my family, like nigga, they be on stage, joking yeah. the person in the casket. Because at that point you just celebrating <laughs> life. <laughs> That's what you do. How you celebrate? Yeah. Life. You just celebrate life at that point. That's what it's supposed to be. Well, That's our entertainment for the week. Let's jump on our topic. Yeah. What, what, what topic you got for the week? Um. You know, I'm gonna stop letting him pick the topics because this nigga always is just some wild shit. Oh no, nah, hold on. We got one more thing in entertainment. So Trump about to let ASAP Rocky out. Oh, he's 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 about to talk to the people over there. To- Are you late? So what happened was Trump talked to the people and they extended ASAP Rocky's lockdown time. I don't know what the fuck Trump <laughs> said to them people. Look, look, I don't know if the nigga. That's, that's not funny, but it's I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Trump said to the people. I don't know how much they hate him. But that nigga got ASAP Rocky locked up like extra two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. 
<laughs> okay. He's not, that's fucked up. Okay, so uh, that's fucked up. Next, next subject. Next topic. Yeah. Fuck Trump. <laughs> we, <laughs> got, we got like ten minutes left. Even when the nigga can't do, when he try to do right, he still fuck shit up. Yeah. So. <laughs> you get it, get it. <laughs> oh, you call? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, that's your man. That's your man. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's better to just. That's like having a, another dope boy come be a character witness <laughs> for you in your trial. Nigga. And you, you and you on trial for bricks. Yeah. Okay. I'm on trial for a murder. And and a top five criminal is gonna come in like, yeah, that nigga ain't do that shit. <laughs> like, hold on, my nigga. Your finger Chris was there too. <laughs> Bailiff, get this yeah, nigga. Yeah. Alright, so next subject. Fuck Trump. So I'm gonna do it different this week, kind of. So, how many bodies? Niggas <laughs> looked at me like I was about to ask, how many bodies he got? <laughs> like, nigga, don't do it. Don't you fucking dare. I have seven bodies. Nah, so how many people can someone sleep with before you secretly judge them on their number? Because everybody say that numbers don't matter shit. Because they don't, nigga. They don't. But. That's a, see. There's definitely a number where you like. Ugh. If a jank was what like. What was the yeah. bitch named that bad wife, Erica Menez, when she came out, she said her number was like 600. Yeah, exactly. That's the same <laughs> fucking face. I would make it too, dude. Like, 600? Were you a porn star? Did you make any money off of this? Like, what happened? Like, where are you at in life that you the fuck 600 niggas? Was she just. Being, um, was she being no, that sister? was her number. That was dead ass her number. How the fuck I missed that wave? That shit was years ago. No, no, not the news, the wave. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I definitely, anyway, go ahead. I don't know, because I don't ask numbers. I mean, I don't either, but this was, you know. And then I can't something. judge, because I also, not that I have a high body count, but I also know my own body count. So if I, since my body count is like nine, I just said it was seven, there might be two that I forgot. So if my body count is like nine, I can't judge you for having 11, 12, 13. Nine? I'm just, I'm just saying that's what my body count is. I'm a, my shit is, I'm at three. I'm a wholesome black man. I'm at three right now. So, but. Oh, you if, know, if, if, we're not talking if, about this year. Se, we're like, not talking about this year. Like, I have some friends about, that, like in life. That's what I meant in life. Um, so I have some friends. Minus three for like life. I have some friends whose body counts may be in the 100, 150s. If they body count in the 100, 150, can you really judge a woman for her body count being 100, 150, 200, 250? No, because no, if you think. I right. bring it down to law averages, right? Think about this. So the average, the average person starts fucking at about 15. Yeah. Some people are going to say 17, but we know the truth. So about 15, 16. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even 17. What's that 16? So, 15 is easier to calculate. Sweet 16 dick. <laughs> 15 is easier for me to calculate. But if she fucks two niggas a year until she's 30, that's 30. That's 30 bodies. That's not even a wild amount. No, that's what I'm saying. And that's, that's 30 bodies. If that's just, and that's just two niggas a year. But realistically, ain't nobody that's a nigga. That's a nigga every six months. And, so, say you break it down to you know a nigga every three months. Cause if she fuck one nigga every three months, I'm not gonna call her hope. Yeah, and it don't work out. And yeah, it don't work out. Like you find another nigga, you fuck him. Every, yeah. So that's four bodies a year. Fifteen to thirty. That's what fifteen years. Fifteen times thirty. I'm drunk, so I'm not gonna give a number. And niggas is not about to make a gif out of me. <laughs> it's not. actually four times fifteen, so it's sixty. What I say? This is, I don't know. You said a lot. I say <laughs> so you know you're drunk. So four bodies a year for fifteen years. That's sixty bodies. That's one nigga every three months. That's not a hoe to me. And then you got to imagine she go through college or they go on trips and they go through their hoe phase. And that's they, an easy hundred bodies. They definitely fucking in college. It's an easy hundred bodies. Especially if they're the HP. I don't want you if you got less than 50 percent. bodies on you because you ain't got no experience. I got to teach you how to suck my dick. I don't have time. To, well, I mean, I'm still going to teach you how to suck my dick because I like my dick sucked <laughs> a particular way. But I don't have time to teach you how to do shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 33. You got to... You got to know what you're coming into. But that's it. I mean, shit. Some girls got 100 bodies and don't know how to suck dick. That's it. We ain't talking about that right now. Though. That's terrible. <laughs> you ain't had the right dick in your life. You got 100 bodies and you still don't know how to suck dick. You ain't had the right dick in your life. No, bitches should be hard-headed. They don't listen. 
You can tell them how to do this shit, how you like it, but they just still. You gotta be an alpha. They man. think they yeah. you gonna suck this dick the way I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> or get the fuck on. But yeah, so. But yeah, that would mean that was the thing that they they wanted me to cover that. But nah, man, bro. I don't. My, my concern is. <laughs> And I don't know it's, what the camera doing. Me, as long as as long it's, as it's clean. Go ahead. Here's what I'm saying. If you're not burning currently, you ain't got you not currently pregnant, because I'm not fucking nobody else's pregnant chick. No uh, more. Cause that's what shit you do when you, you twenty. Never did that? That's what I said no more. That's what I said no more. That's what shit you do when you young. I mean, I know I ain't got no kids, so I'm just speaking hypothetically, but pr- pregnant pussy the best pussy. It is. Pregnant pussy is fantastic. <laughs> pregnant pussy is fantastic. I didn't have. Go ahead. What was you saying? We're not even get into that. That's a whole different subject. We'll say that for next week. We got to get Pamela Pussy on here, who yeah. just who just about to have the babies coming next Tuesday. Yep. Who by next? Yeah, I was about to say who yeah, by yeah. next. Uh, next episode. Next Pam episode, she's gonna yeah, have her twins. twins. So shout out to Pam. So we talk about pregnant pussy when Pam get back. Oh, uh, I forgot what the whole subject was. That shit made me forget. Pregnant pussy that good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That shit made me forget what I was talking about. You were saying something and you said you don't fuck pregnant bitches no more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So currently, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about your body count. I just want to make sure you're clean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, that's what it was. You not pregnant. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much it right now. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you ain't got no crazy ex niggas. If, you know what I'm saying? If I was looking for women, these would be the things that I would be looking for. Yeah. I mean, pregnancy is optional, but as long as the pussy clean. I'm not taking no pregnant bitch. I'm not, nah. If you got to already have the kids, bitch. I'm not taking you while you're pregnant. That's a whole different type of headache that I'm not even about to sign myself up for. But I'm trying to figure out, like... The fuck? When niggas bag pregnant joints and be hitting them, like... Are you going at, like... What do you... What do you, you just going at... Jumping in the inbox, like, yo, what's up? We're not... I told you we were going to say this for what Pam get back. We're not... Because I'm pretty you. sure she got some shit. Yeah, yeah. Some I know stories. She, she do. I know Pam do. And, um... Um... Yeah. My random ass message on the week since we talk about sex. Stop fucking people that you got to use condoms with. People say you use condoms? That's what I'm saying. I'm just bullshit. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Look, if you feel like you got to put a condom on and have sex with that person, stop having sex nah, with that person. We definitely stop. promote safe sex here, but you know, I feel that. I safe feel sex like is pulling out on I have, if I, feel, if I feel in my heart of hearts that I have to wear a condom to fuck you, I don't want to fuck you. Even if I have all... I'm drunk. What was I about to say? Oh, even if I have all intentions of wearing a condom. Yeah. I'm just saying. Patrice O'Neill, salute to Patrice O'Neill, the comedian. I rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace. This man said his version of safe sex is he crosses his heart like this and said, God, just please not AIDS. <laughs> right? That's what he said. That's what he said. That's what the man said. If you feel like you got to wear if you... <laughs> That nigga also said he think it's the female responsibility. It is. It's the female. Yeah, that whole that whole standard was funny. Yeah. If she don't make you put a condom on, it's a flag. Because that because <laughs> every nigga's gonna try. Like if you if you've never tried to slip your dick in with no condom on, you're not a real nigga. You gonna go until she tell you you have a condom, and you be like, oh fuck. But I stopped buying condoms shit, in like some 2009. Niggas, some niggas slip them off if <laughs> mid mid sex. Like that, that's just terrible. That's wrong. Like, yeah, that's fucked up. Here, niggas be buying box of condoms. <laughs> niggas dying over there. <laughs> niggas be buying boxes of condoms is a magic trick. It's a, it's an illusion, bitch. Like I want you to think that we about to have safe sex. I got some condoms with me, but I'm gonna slip my dick in until you tell me. And you end up fucking her. The box of condoms sitting right next to y'all on the bed, looking at you. Like, bitch, you know you should have put me on. <laughs> so nah, man. But if you feel like that person, like you. If you really don't trust that person like that, stop having sex with him, man. Because condom trash, condom sex is trash. Yeah. No, I mean, like you said, you fucking, you, you really fucking, a, you're not hitting the pussy. You fucking a plastic bag. Yeah, you fucking a plastic in bag. In the pussy. And then niggas li- like to lie to bitch. <laughs> you in the pussy fucking a plastic bag. Like, if you ever fuck, look, ladies, if you ever fuck a nigga with a condom on and he'd be like, oh, your pussy is great, he's lying to you, bitch. That nigga don't he know. he doesn't even know what he your pussy feel know. like. He doesn't know. He knows what a wet plastic bag feels like. That's it. So, take that shit with a grain of salt. That's like if she asks, is it good? Bitch, I don't know. I don't. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I don't feel nothing but this. I get it. I get it. Did this shit at home, bitch. Like, 
Bitch, all I feel is hefty. I could have I could have jerked off with a condom on that home and this shit would have felt the exact fucking same. Yeah. Anybody doing that shit? So number yeah. one, I'm not being held. No <laughs> That's just not. Just not. That's wasting the beat off. You thought I was about to say that's wasting the condom. Yeah, no, that's wasting the beat off. The condoms are a waste. Period. We're, this is this is the point of this random and they, and they PSA. Stink. And they stink. Smell like good year. Especially man, yo, them shit stink. You hitting a joint from the back and that condom smell come up, you just be like, hold up, bitch. Is that this or you? <laughs> Cause I ain't just I ain't just smell this shit before this happened. That shit terrible. Anyway, so next subject before we wrap up. Yeah, what was up? the main topic of the week, man? That's what we are. <laughs> have you ever turned down sex in the moment? I have no. Wait, no. <laughs> I can't like I've climbed out of some pussy and walked away. Like Hitting it from the back because it, it was just too loose and I wasn't enjoying myself. So I was just like, yeah, I'm not doing this shit no more. I pulled my dick out and I pulled, pulled my boxes on my pants. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this shit no more. <laughs> um, there have been times I've turned down pussy in a moment. I just felt like there were a couple times I was in relationships and pussy been thrown at me. I turned that shit down in the moment. You pulled a Jody, my nigga? <laughs> Wait, I'm talking about when he turned it down. Oh, <laughs> hey, look at the nigga. <laughs> nigga looked at me like I just threw the friendship away. Yeah. Like, nigga, you snitching? The fuck? Yeah. Well, no, nah, I'm talking about when he turned it down, nigga. Yeah. Not the. Well, That's in. how you know Jody was a foul nigga. For nigga. Yeah, he was. He definitely was. Oh, um, I'm trying to think of any other specific times I've turned it down in the moment. I'm not saying if I would or wouldn't. I'm just saying if I was Jody, I would have hit that joint. <laughs> I'm not saying me myself. Yeah. I'm saying if I was Jody. Yeah. If I was Jody, I would have. Yeah. He was already he in it, though. Yeah, he was. She was riding it. He might as well have just. In my younger years, I, I didn't really turn out too much pussy. In my older years, he definitely turned out pussy. Because all pussy ain't good pussy. Nah. All Even pussy. all good pussy ain't good pussy. This is this is a big fact. <laughs> so that shit come with a lot of mental health problems. Yo, and that's the thing. Like a lot of a lot of females like to they like to be crazy now. Like that's the wave. Like that's the that's the shit. Like I said this shit a year ago. Bad bitches jump out of bad cars. Like they come with a whole different type of headache when they bad. So you don't that shit ain't. Hey, no, I was crazy. I think fuck. Oh, but hey. I think everything negative right now is like a trend for females. You know what I'm saying? Anything that got a negative stigma or just is negative, they all for that shit. Facts. Think yeah. about that shit. Like, they want to. It ain't. I won't even say it's negative. I just think they want to live their life. Like they finally feel like they can be out and be free and say what the fuck they want to say. Yeah. And they saying that well, shit. Cool. They can do that. But like, the shit that they've been doing for years, they just able to. They just able to glorify that shit. What's cool about being petty? Because these bitches glorify that being petty shit. Like, yeah, and they own it. That's fine if you own who you are. You know what I'm saying? But don't make it like it's a cool thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas been doing that shit for years, though. Niggas just me. Hey, man, I'm part of the Black Man Association. Nah, niggas been doing that shit. On Facebook. But niggas been doing that shit for years, though. You know what I'm saying? Years, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit that's not really cool to do. Like, niggas glorified the streets for years. You're right. But you get money off the streets. You, you get. Know what? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to just stop here because you're right. Because I see what it comes to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Niggas been doing that shit for years, and women finally feel like they got a they got a voice to speak. They can finally say what the fuck they want to say without being judged, and they gonna say that shit. Say that shit. Like make this stallion say that shit, yo. I was, I was listening to her look rap on that song that she got with uh the baby. I get them niggas oh, yeah, yeah. between the baby, little baby, baby yeah, from yeah, yeah, all the niggas. But and the baby, Hi Davis. I mean, he don't rap, but he look. But that like bitch was like, you know, he know he's expensive. He knows expensive to date me. Like, yeah, she just she talking that shit. And I, that no, shit real. And that's the thing, though. I feel like as long as you really living that shit. Yeah, I feel like yo talk that shit if you really living it. Niggas are bash females for being like that. Like a nigga knows it's expensive to date me, but he'll do everything but get his money up yeah. to date her. Yeah, you nigga, she told you what she wanted. Yeah, so it's like I need y'all bitches to jump off of that. The period, the word period yeah. wave. That shit is fucking retarded. And for every bitch you say period at the end of a sentence, I hope you miss your next 10 and get pregnant, bitch. Like, that's just how I feel. I hate no, that word. I'm mad and they say, I used to wait, say no, that. No, wait, wait, no, no. And then they say period poo. Like, I seen this shit on the period poo. That shit sound like a, a menstrual cycle problem. I don't want to hear that shit. 
When I first seen period poo, I thought it, I thought it was a joint talking about yeah, taking like, the shit on the period. Yeah, it's just fucking disgusting, yo. Change, get y'all lingo together. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all for women having their own lingo, but that shit is not it. It's not it. Yeah, but I'm bad, like, I, seen, I seen the meme. It was a dude pet the dog, and he looked at the dog. It was like, oh, the dog is so cute. And then the dog said, period. And he was like, oh, it's retarded. Like, that's how I feel when I hear y'all be like, period, poo. <laughs> be like, oh, you so cute, but you so fucking retarded. Like, number one, I don't want nobody <laughs> under 45 calling me poo anyway. Yeah. Y'all aunties can call me whatever she wants to, as long as she make me some perfectly fried plantains. Perfectly prepared plantains <laughs> with the arroz con pollo or the arroz. Anyway. This nigga went to Costa Rica for two weeks and just plantain poppy. That's came what they a whole a whole Dominican. He not in Costa Rica. He went to Costa Rica and came back a Dominican. I don't know how that shit works. Plantain poppy, baby. That's what they call me. Plantain. That's what they call him. <laughs> I told you I'm a I'm gonna legally change my name to that shit. So even if I get in legal trouble and go to the, the you yeah, man, cool. even if I go to court, the judge is gonna have to legally call me plantain poppy. You do that shit. But yeah, so, shit. If you worry about body counts, that was that was the main topic, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, if you worry about body counts, you got a whole other thing. You got a whole other issue with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be thankful that the nigga that you was with, or that she was with before, pause. Cause I almost fucked that up. Be thankful that the nigga that she was with before fucked her like he did and taught her all the shit that she fucking know. Cause that's shit that you enjoy about the bitch now. Yeah. You got to you got to take it for what it is. I know a couple of women who didn't deal with fat niggas before they got with me, and now all they deal with is fat niggas. Uh, all the fat niggas after me got to thank me for that. Uh, so, do you know how many chicks that don't fuck with light skinned niggas that I've hit? Yeah. And then after that, all they want is light. You got to thank me for that. Two, because I only hit three in my whole life. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I just. <laughs> yeah, of course, my number, like I said, my number at, at the extended number is nine, so it's only happened like three times. Yeah, I, I could say five just in case I might have like forgotten like a. Yeah. Little one night rendezvous yeah, you with get some drunk shit. Sometimes, you know, but. you know what I'm saying? Little one night stand. You Why the fuck they call them that? Because you ain't stand. I mean, sometimes you might stand up. Uh, I stand hand. up in that thing. Hitting the joint over the sink I, or something. I stand up in that thing. Pure. Just. Like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. When I was, like, younger, my joint was to hit. My favorite thing to do was to hit bitches in the bathroom at parties. Yeah, we definitely did that a lot. Like, I felt like I didn't, I wasn't accomplished if I didn't hit something in the bathroom at a party. We used to do that at Chick's house who had kids, like. All right, let your kids play in the living room. Let me hit you in the bathroom real quick. But no. again, those were in the younger years when you 18, 19. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. 18, 19. Yeah. So. <laughs> Any positive words for the week? Man. Uh, the fuck we on this week? Some positive vibe. Health is wealth. Health is definitely wealth. Uh, it's summertime, man. Enjoy the summer. It's hot as a bitch outside. We knew it was going to be hot as a bitch outside for the summer. So we can stop complaining about the shit. Because I still fucking complain about the shit. But let's get out there and enjoy some shit. Do some shit you've never done this summer, man. Go. Do some shit you've never done this summer in your own city. Because I realize that I'm missing a lot of dope shit here in the 757. Because I'm so worried about traveling and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? People put me on some dope shit that jump uh, off here right now. And I don't now, understand so. why this nigga's worried about traveling. This nigga has a chauffeur, and he has a fucking fan. He don't even got to drive. Like, this nigga has a Sprinter van. He's worried about traveling. He has two fucking drivers. And he has a Sprinter van, but he worried about traveling. I'm sick of this nigga telling y'all these lies. I'm logging off this shit. I'm done. I'm done with this nigga telling y'all these motherfucking lies. <laughs> Till next week. <laughs>